Hello everybody, I'm going to finish off the tags that I started yesterday when I was doing the ATCs. I didn't quite get round to doing the tags as the video was going on a bit anyway. So I'm going to talk about the draw. I'm going to be doing a draw to celebrate having 500 plus subscribers and I did a video on it I think uh, about a week ago, I shall link it at the end and how to enter the draw and I think I forgot to mention that I'm going to be drawing it on the 30th of April which isn't long now it's only four days away so you've got four days to get yourself into the draw to win um, a lovely little uh, journal I've made uh, so that was just a reminder and to clear up in case I forgot to say that I can't remember if I did it's quite easy to enter all you have to do is go and find that altered button video and leave a comment on that Anyway, so back to these tags. Uh, these were this these were the bits and bobs that were left over when I made the ATCs and I looked at them and thought, yes, they'll make lovely little tags. I love having this long thin tag. I just love it. I'm just gonna snip a bit off the bottom there. And then I'm going to add some beloved eyelets. I'm an eyelet addict. Did you notice that about me? I love eyelets. I would put them in everything. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna add some eyelets. So I'm really pleased to have these ready. This is a lovely postcard on its own. I'm not going to turn that into a tag, but I shall with these. I'm just going to snip off their little corners. So this is a very easy project. So because I get the tags done rather quickly, I'm going to go and make some snippet roll as well. But let's get these tags done first. That definitely needs that blue, doesn't it? Oh, love it. There, oh, so gorgeous. <laughs> Trying to decide which is the top and which is the bottom. The paper's quite thick, so the eyelets only just fit. Getting that lined up wasn't easy. There we go. Started to trim the edge off. It's a little bit rough. That's better. That's a lot better. to decide which colour would work best. There's a little bit of yellow that I thought I'd bring out but it didn't work so I've gone back to the um, orangey coloured one, terracotta sort of colour. So that's it, a set of tags. And later on at the end of the video I find another piece of paper that I could turn into a tag that was also part of this series. They're gorgeous and they all coordinate. I love them. And I could be, whoops, zoomed in there so you can see them a bit better. I'm going to add a little bit of um, thread or something or some lace or some ribbon at the top. I'm saying goodbye but I'm coming back. <laughs> so I've decided I'm going to make some more snippet roll because that is something else I'm low on as well. So using the scraps of paper I have left over from uh, the ATC and tag project, I just have a piece of masking tape with a sticky side up laid out on the table and I'm just adding all these bits of paper to it. I'm going to add cloth and other bits and pieces as well. I do enjoy making snippets roll and those snippet pads. I think it's because I like the fact that you can use up all these odds and ends. And they're ever so pretty when they're done and they, they're great just as a final touch on lots of pages and things in your journals and as embellishments on ATCs and later tags as well. So I've sped this up. 
because I think I spent a bit of time, spent a little bit of time doing this. Now the light isn't brilliant because I was doing this in the evening and the light was beginning to go. That's where I found that other tag. I'm using a bit of washi tape as well. And the colours coordinate uh, very well with the tags and the ATCs I've made, so these would be great in a project together. So as you can see, the masking tape is gradually getting covered up. And what I'm going to do is later on, I'm going to make sure there's no sticky bits at all. I'm just using tiny pieces for those little areas that are still sticky. And now I've come back with a bit of, um, what's this called? Muslin. This makes for a very nice texture actually and I like to cut it very roughly. And I'm just sticking it down lightly with glue, just to hold it in place um, prior to sewing. I mean, once it's sewn, it'll be in place better. But this is just holds it on there so it doesn't all fall off when I walk away to the sewing machine. <laughs> no point balancing it on, is there? So I'll do that all over. And I'm going to use some bits of ribbon as well. Blue um, starts off blue, but the colour does fade. So the ribbon looks a bit peculiar at this stage. <laughs> and now I'm going to add some lace. I quite like this lace with the goldy bits on because I like the sparkle of gold. So I'm going to include this. Again, I'm just going to glue just to hold it in place before I get to the sewing machine. And now I'm going to include some of the buttons I've cut out and some of my watercolour painty bits. and I'm going to leave it overnight. So here we are, I've sewn them. And here are the tags. And I've actually found another piece that I can turn into a tag that I've forgotten I'd got. I'm going to use, instead of eyelets, <laughs> whoa, I'm going to use um, some cloth instead. I'm just going to trim off these loose bits. And corner around. Uh, yes, I'm going to. I'm looking at these rough edges and wondering whether to trim them off. But I've realised they're quite good because they're all. You know, it's it's quite. Uh, what's the word? It's all over. <laughs> That's a little bit too big. I'm going to cut that in half. And I'm just going to tack it down with a little bit of glue. Oops, lots of 
loose ends. I don't mind some loose ends, but that's a bit too many. <laughs> I'm just going to tack it down with some glue and later on I'm going to just sew along the top there. No eyelets in this one. There we go. Shove some glue on. So here we are. These are the final bits and pieces to my restocking swaps and bits and pieces for my journal supplies. And they all coordinate very well together. The ATCs, the tags and the snippet roll can all be used in the same project. So I'm quite pleased about that. My next thing I need to do is make some postcards and cards to include in journals. Now what I do when I'm sending um, snippet roll out is I roll it round uh, an appropriate sized piece of card. This is slightly too large, I'd use something narrower. And then I can put them in the post like that. Love them. Pleased with this lot. So that's the end of this video. Don't forget to um, enter for the draw which will happen on the 30th of April. I'm very excited to do that actually. Thanks for watching. Bye.